So everything we know about cure is that it'll be easier to do it if people go on therapy early, really early. The amount of virus around is lower, the immune system works better, the virus seems easier to go after. Um, and so, you know, for those who are interested in being there for the cure, if you can get on drugs earlier, what we know now would be better. Uh, my name is Stephen Deeks. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of California in San Francisco. Uh, you know, I think that um, um, we've learned over the past year or so that there are, in unique situations, more or less anecdotal situations, uh, uh, a number of ways you can potentially cure people. You know, most of them are not going to be relevant to your typical person. Um, the, for example, we learned that if you are, um, if you have lymphoma or some type of cancer, you can undergo a bone marrow transplant and this could potentially cure a person. We learned uh, through the Berlin patient that uh, uh, using specific types of cells which are rare and in, in, in a transplant setting is curative. We've learned that if you put people on therapy very, very early, a small number might look like they're cured. And, um, and, and now we're learning that uh, certain types of um, drugs, when given to people, do things to the virus, which could, over a long period of time, help lead to a cure. So that's where we are. But we're nowhere near a single pill given for three months that will cure people. I think, that, I think that there's actually been um, uh, uh, too much hype in the press, and I'm not sure anyone's at fault. Um, there have been cases that appear in, in which people appear to be cured. Obviously, there's so much interest among patients and communities and society for anything related to a cure that, that the scientists involved get excited, that uh, the communities involved get excited, that that media gets involved and like to tell optimistic stories and and, and, and and so you sort of lose control of it a bit. So yeah, there's there's been a, a, a lot of coverage on some of these cases and probably too much excitement and, and not enough recognition that each of these cures that have happened have really no relevance to your typical person with HIV infection. No, I don't think anyone is doing anything wrong. I think you have enthusiastic investigators excited about their research, which you always have. You have investigators and scientists who are obligated to talk to the media about the work they do in a way that makes sense. We get a lot of money from taxpayers and we really should be telling people what we're doing. You have um, groups of people who are very interested in anything related to the cure and you have media who like to tell positive stories. Decades. If you're asking me, when are we going to have like a magic three drug combination that you give to someone that you take for a few months and you're cured and you can do it everywhere in the world, I'm sure that's going to take a few decades.